In these videos, we are looking at Massive, but from the brand new user perspective. So I am going to assume you know nothing about Synthesis, and we are going to start there. I am using Ableton Live as my host. You don't have to. Uh, the only thing I'm using it for is I created a loop with some chords. So in this clip slot, when I click play, this MIDI is playing. We don't hear anything because I have not loaded Massive yet. Um, if you are using Ableton, just find Massive under your plugins, probably under your VSTs or audio units, and click and drag, and you're done. It'll load, and here is the user interface. So before we do anything else, uh, what I suggest with any synthesizer, not just Massive, is to move directly to the presets. And that's under browser over here in the top right hand side. And the reason is every synthesizer has its own sound. Um, and it, the sound is very diverse. It'll, it'll make a number of different sounds, but certain synths have a specific way they feel. They have their own emo emotion and personality, if you will. So this is the best way to get a feel for that is start playing uh, this loop, the chord progression. And now when I play, You hear a very boring chord progression with a very boring preset. Uh, let's find something more interesting. Uh, let's say I want specifically to use something from my Urban Arsenal bank, and I want some sort of organ. I can listen to those by double-clicking on the name. And that's the one I'll use. So let's move on. <laughs> 